Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can create journal entries in Business Central. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now in Business Central, you can use journal journals to post information into the journal ledger and other accounts. You can create and post journal entries for a single entry line without a separate balancing account line or you can use multiple entry lines by using balancing account line. Also, you can do entries with dimensions. Now, when entering an amount in the amount field, uh, the following rules apply. A positive amount represents a debit to the account and a negative amount represents a credit to the account. So let's see how we can create the journal entries. To open journal journals, click on finance and click on journal journals. Now in the journal journals, you will see uh, various batches that are available in your system. And if you want, you can also create a, a new batch by clicking on new and specifying some of the fields. Now let's just go through those fields that you require to create a batch. Now the name field signifies the name of the journal that you're creating and a description is a brief description of the journal batch that you're creating. Now the balancing account specifies the type of account that a balancing entry is posted to such as a bank or a cash account. Now, based on the balancing account type, you can specify the balancing account number and it specifies the number of the journal ledger of the customer, vendor or a bank account that the balancing entry is posted to, such as a cash account for cash purchases. Now, then we have a number series, which specifies the number series from which entry or record numbers are assigned to the new entries or the records which are created in the journal journal. The posting number series specifies code of the number series that will be used to assign document number to ledger entries that are posted from this journal batch. Now there is one more optional field, especially if you want to use a supplementary source code, which can enable you to trace the entry. So for that, you can provide a reason code as well. Then we have a copy GST setup to the journal lines. Now this specifies whether the program to calculate GST for accounts and balancing account on the journal line of the selected journal batch. Then we have allow GST differences, which actually specifies whether to allow manual adjustments of GST amounts in journal templates. And then at the end, we have suggest balancing amount. Now this specifies if the amount field on the journal lines for the same document number is automatically pre-filled with the value that is required to balance the document thereafter, you know, saving some time for the entries. So these are some of the fields that you can uh, define while creating a new batch. And then you can go ahead and use that batch to enter the journal lines and you can create as many journal batches as you want. In this case, let us just open the default journal journal batch over here. And if you see this kind of layout where you have some headers over here and few fields over here, and you would like to see more columns, especially because uh, this can be a little confusing. Uh, let's say when you're op when you're entering opening uh, balances, then you might think, okay, there is only one posting date over here, but I might need to import the monthly movements. This can be this layout can be a, a little confusing. So what you can do is you can just click on page and click on show more columns. There you go. You will have more fields over here in the lines, uh, which makes more sense. What you can also do is uh, hide this fact box area by clicking on collapse uh, fat box pain button here. Now you can have much cleaner and broader perspective of the journal journal lines. Now the first thing to note over here is the posting date, which is the date when the transaction is posted. So if I would like to post um, a transaction on the last date of January, so what I can do is specify the date over here and we are ready to post on this particular day. Now, in most of the cases, well, not always, but in most of the cases, when you're using journal journals, you would uh, leave the document type blank. However, there are many other options that you can use, especially when using cash receipt or, or payment journals where you can use payment or refund, which we'll see in upcoming videos. But usually in journal journals, you will leave this field blank. Next is the document number, which is provided automatically by the system based on the number series. If you check the batch, uh, 
the number series is provided over here journal journal so based on that uh, the system provides the document number automatically and then again we have account type which specifies various account types that you can post to uh, of course we can post to GL account but we can also do that to customers vendors back account so on and so forth so the next thing is account number based on the account type you can over here select the account number if you remember the account number you can specify the number directly or you can just start typing in uh, for example i want to post to an expense account a uh, cleaning account over here the system automatically generates a filtered list from which you can then select the account name is automatically generated by the system based on the account number and also the description which you of course you can overwrite now next you will notice uh, the posting groups which of course you can actually switch it off and how you can do that you can actually go to your batch settings and you can uncheck option um copy gst setup to journal lines so which will not fill the posting groups automatically but in this case um it's okay with me and then i can specify the amount over here uh, let's say 100 now it's important to note that since we are using the posting groups uh, this amount is including the gst which means that when i post this journal line the gst amount will be taken out from this amount and will be posted to the relevant gst account so once i have done this i have to balance the account by posting uh, the other side of the account um, so i will keep the posting date same um, i will keep the document type blank the document number same and in the gl account i will choose the cash account it's important to note that over here i will specify minus 100 and this will make my total balance zero which means that the uh, journal line uh, the journal batch is ready to post so it's important to note Note uh, that a negative amount is the credit and the positive amount is the debit so we are debiting the cleaning account and we are crediting the cash account over here entering the journal lines manually is very easy but we can also do this in another way in a single line itself rather than providing two lines and in that case we'll be using the balancing account type field to balance the account so let me just demonstrate that so uh, let me again the uh, system has now generated different document number since it now knows that the previous lines are already balanced so it is now giving you a document number automatically you can try if you want you can keep the same document number but let's go ahead with this so i choose the cleaning account once again over here and provide the debit amount of 100 over here in the balancing account type i will choose gl account and the balancing account number i can choose the cash account and you will see that the total balance comes to zero so either i can use either the two line method or i can do that in one line method as well so now when everything is balanced i'm ready to process my journal journal and i can click on process and i can click on post do you want to post the journal lines yes i want to and the journal lines were successfully posted so why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself thank you for watching this video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.